In today's video, we're going to test if it's possible to extract and melt the inside core of a colored pencil. Guys, we've got some colored pencils here, and we have these because several of you have asked us to try something with them. Specifically, you've asked to see if we can melt down the inside colored portion of a colored pencil and turn it into something else. Here's the basic idea. We've got four different brands of colored pencils. We're gonna see what the differences are between those brands, and then we're going to try to melt down the insides of them. Can we turn it into a paintable liquid, or will it just burn? A lot of you wanted to see if it was possible to extract the inside cores from a colored pencil, and if so, what could be done with them when you did, especially people asked if they could be melted. So we are going to try some of these things. We've got four different brands of colored pencils here. Generally speaking, we've got four different types of quality of pencils. So these here, these Crazy Art brand, these were the cheapest ones. It's like four or five dollars for that 72 pack of pencils. And we've got our standard Crayola. Crayola pencils here are a staple of many childhoods. Then getting into the slightly fancier brand, we've got Prismacolor Premier. These are pretty good. I think these are considered low professional or high hobby grade colored pencils. I've used them myself. And then over here we have some Faber-Castell brand. They say since 1761 they've been around as a company and it's a lot of time to perfect your colored pencil, although I rather doubt they've been making the exact same product that long. It's probably just when the company was established. So these are supposed to be some of the high grade colored pencils, at least of the kind you can buy on Amazon. There may be higher grades still, but these were what I saw as like the nicest of what's just available without going to a specialized art store. So we're going to test out all of these four different kinds of colored pencils. Just for a second, I wanna see if there's like a visual difference just coloring with them on a piece of paper, but then we're gonna try extracting the insides out of these and seeing what happens if we play around with those. And there might be some fire involved. I'm gonna start with this lowest cost, see what kind of coloring we get. Definitely got different tones here that both are just called blue. I'm not sure how well that's gonna to translate to camera because cameras like to auto adjust things, but. All right, now we're trying the Prismacolor Violet Blue, which is, as far as I can tell, the closest color they have to just blue. Definitely does look more purpley. Now our fanciest Faber-Castell. Well, we certainly have four different shades of blue going on, whether or not that's what you're hoping for. To me, they're kind of all colored pencils, at least in this very not exhaustive test. Um, but now I think we want to see if there's anything different when you crack them open. So we're going to try and crack all these open. Now I'm going to see what happens if I take this pencil, grab it on both ends with the pliers, and I'm just going to twist opposite directions from each other. See what that does. Uh, pencils are made with two different sides of the wood being glued together, and so you can sometimes split them apart with a twisting motion. Twisting, got this crack, and it's now running all the way down. Let's see if I can pull that off. It's split in half, but the inside is pretty shattered. It probably didn't like the twisting a whole lot. Same thing with the Crayola. That is a very brittle wood. I couldn't tell you if that's a sign of a better or a worse colored pencil that it breaks like that. I think they're using a different kind of wood or it's treated differently and I would say that the glue holding the colored bit to the wood is a lot stronger with the Crayola. You can see it has split the colored core of the pencil right down the middle. When the wood split, the core split with it. I might come back and try and get more out of that but for the moment, I'm just gonna let that sit there. Moving on to our Prismacolor. Let's see, is this gonna be more like the cheap one where it splits lengthwise, or is it gonna be like the Crayola where it just cracks? Definitely more like the Crazy Art brand. We definitely have differences happening here. The Crazy Art and the Prismacolor both split out of their wood fairly easily. You can see what small pieces the Crazy Art has broken into. It's tiny little shards. The Prismacolor, it's also definitely broken up, but it's much larger pieces. Now I'm curious if the Faber-Castell is gonna be more like the cheap and expensive or the mid-grade. Ooh, wow. This so far is doing its own thing entirely. We had a really clean split there at first. We've extracted some color from each of the four brands. 
and now I want to see what happens to it if we heat it up. So I think we'll just try it on a stove and I think we can put all four on a single frying pan at the same time. Where's the color? All right, let's see what those do. We've got the temperature on about medium. We're gonna let those cook and see what happens to them. Are they gonna melt? Are they gonna burn? What's gonna happen to the color? Well, we've got our pencil cores heating up on a frying pan on the stovetop. We also have a second frying pan with some water in it. And we're gonna do something else with that. We're gonna put some of the colored pencils into the boiling water and see if that does anything to the wood, to the cores. Just see if it's another method for getting the pencils open. So I think our Prismacolor is actually melting. Crayola, no meltage whatsoever. Crazy Art, massive amounts of smoke, no melting. Some kind of liquid seems to be coming out of the Faber-Castell, but it doesn't look like it's just melting colored pencil the way the Prismacolor does. Here we have a nice smear where I was moving the spatula around the one that melted and then I just smeared it onto the paper. So it is an interesting sort of waxy texture as though you had put down a very, very complete layer of the colored pencil. Well, that's a stove and boiling, which boiling will still look at it more, but we want to try a little bit more direct source of heat. So we're now going to test two things at once. One, if we can use a blowtorch to melt the cores of these pencils. And two, we're going to see if we get any sort of different colored flame by burning different colors of pencils. Oh, look at that. Green flame. I'm actually just messing with you. This is just boric acid in methanol, which we've used many times to burn green. That wasn't the pencil itself. Looks like a pretty standard color flame to me. That's done an interesting job of cracking the wood open. So I wanna take a different pencil, try and burn the whole thing and see if it cracks open and what the inside is like after you do that. Thought maybe I was gonna get the entire core to come out in one piece, no such luck. But that is the nicest job we've had so far of splitting the pencil open. Yeah, the core itself still likes to come out in lots of little pieces. Let's try the Crayola brand, see if it burns any different from the Crazy Art brand. So that definitely gets one side off pretty nicely. As for getting it out, oh, that, there we go. That's the biggest piece we've had. Prismacolor. The wood seems to burn maybe a little bit better with the Prismacolor things with the blowtorch and they get hot. Who knew? Dark cadmium orange. Where I hit it directly with the heat, that came out really easily. So the Prismacolor, I believe, is the brand that actually melted on the stove. So now let's see what happens if we hit the other three brands with fire directly. I think this is the Crayola. Not really melting. Hmm. Well, the blue melted on the stove a little bit, but this one's just lighting on fire. Fancy grade. That puts off a horrible amount of smoke. Well, I think our boiled pencils have cooled down enough that we can try pulling them apart. We're gonna do the same thing, just twisting, see if they open well or differently now that the wood has been boiled for a bit. One brand, it gets extra weak and flimsy, and another brand, it seems to make it even more brittle. With the Faber-Castell brand, it just did not like to open up. The wood just splintered. While we had the pencils boiling in that water, I noticed that it seemed to be marking very, very easily on the side. So I think the core itself was getting really soft. So now I wanna try boiling this long piece of pencil core we got and see what happens to it. This is the Crazy Art brand. Couldn't get as big of a stick, but we're just gonna throw all of these in. Faber-Castell brand. So this was our Crayola. 
stick, I'll be honest, it seems mostly unchanged. Our crazy art, this stuff started dissolving the instant it hit the hot water. Orange tint just started coming off of it and it's gotten kind of mushy. You can see how much it smooshes around. Here we've got our favorite Castell. So this has definitely become soft. It's absorbed some water, been cooked a little bit. It's not completely falling apart the way that the cheap Crazy Art brand is, but definitely soft and you can see how much it's smeared all over my hands. So the orange one, this is the Crazy Art, the cheapest one, and it just melted as soon as it hit the hot water. So colored pencils, which are basically pigment mixed with some kind of wax base. Uh, we get different results with the different brands and qualities. For the most part though, they don't really melt. With the Prismacolor cores, we did get some melting on a stove top, but it didn't really melt in the hot water and it didn't really melt when we hit it with a blowtorch. So it seemed pretty unique to that type of heat or perhaps just that color melted well. Um, overall, they don't really turn into a liquid the same way, you know, if you melt a crayon, you just, you get liquid, it's pourable, it's spreadable. You can paint with it. I've seen people, they like hang on the canvas, hit it with a heat gun and it runs down, looks all cool. Unfortunately, that's not going to work with colored pencils the same way, but it is interesting to see how they change, what methods do and do not work for getting the cores out of the pencil, which so far, I think the best method we had was boiling it. So the wood got really nice and soft, but again, that worked best with Crayola and it didn't work as well as some of the others. Crayola was the one that was the least affected by the boiling water, so it may be that the core doesn't get too soft, which is why it holds itself together so well, and then the wood starts to fall apart as you boil it, leaving behind just the core of the pencil. So if you're using Crayola pencils and you're trying to get the cores out, I would say boiling it is your best method. Guys, that's not all you know. We've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.